the big study that's come out of Colombia, looking at it specifically in the context of microarray uh, testing for prenatal uh, specimens, is uh, you know what we were uh, a major part of. Um, the, the big difference is really the going beyond what you can see under the microscope um, and not only going beyond that but obviously um, being comparable to the type of testing that we do uh, by traditional cytogenetic analysis. In karyotyping we take the chromosomes, the 46 chromosomes that are in a cell and we treat them so we can separate them and look at each chromosome and we can see whether or not they look normal. With microarray testing, since the things that we are identified are too small to be seen under the microscope. The way we see things with karyotyping is we separate the chromosomes, we look at them under the microscope, and we say that looks normal, that doesn't look normal. With microarray, that's not what we're doing. What we're basically doing with microarray is we're taking a sample from a person, in this case a pregnancy, and we're comparing it to a sample from a normal pregnancy, and we're asking the question, is all the DNA that should be there in the normal pregnancy pregnancy in there in the right amount or is there extra or missing material. Because the pieces that we are comparing are tiny little pieces, we're better, we're able to see smaller things. So that's the difference. One is a visual representation of the chromosomes asking whether they look normal and the other is a comparison of the DNA from one, from, from a test pregnancy to normal pregnancy. What we showed in the stillbirth study is that there is a much higher likelihood of actually yielding a result uh, just because of the way the technology works. You're looking at DNA um, as opposed to the chromosomes. And so uh, we can get DNA from mummies that are 5,000 years old. You know, we don't worry about culturing the specimen and we can get, extract that DNA directly from the sample that we receive. And so just from a, a, a very practical point of view in the stillbirth study, um, by doing this new technology, you have a higher likelihood of giving the patient some type of result. Um, we also found you know, a high yield, just like we did in the prenatal study, of um, finding genetic abnormalities. And so it was very similar to uh, the, micro, uh, the prenatal micro study from that, from that aspect. 60 years ago, we could identify only a very limited number of genetic disorders of the fetus on a not very select group of women. Now we can identify a dramatically increased amount of genetic material and actually be more specific about who we're testing and what information we're looking for. I think the beauty or the benefits of establishing this multi-center trial um, that came out of Columbia was that we have the framework in which we can easily slot the new technologies. We still need to answer those same questions that we ask for microarray. In other words, you know, are there things that we unanticipated that we will find that we need to um, be aware of and change the way we do this diagnostic or change the way we counsel patients? Um, it's, the new technologies are definitely coming and it's our responsibility again to make sure that the way we utilize them is done in the most um, you know, clinically meaningful and responsible way.